The Scrambled States of America by Lori Keller. As read with character voices by Paul Cuthbert. Let me tell it. Oh, oh, let me, let me. No, no, you two. That part is my job. Now get back in your places. We're about to start the story. Aren't they cute? Let's give them a couple of seconds to get back into position. 1001, 1002, 1003. Okay, turn the page. Well, it was just your basic ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. Time to get up. States all over the country were waking up, having their first cups of coffee. Yeah, Say have when. Them often. Keep it coming. Yeah. Wow, homie. Reading the morning paper <sighs> and enjoying the beautiful sunrise. Beautiful sunrise. All the states, that is, except for Kansas. He was not feeling happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I'm not feeling happy at all. What's wrong? His best friend, Nebraska, kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. I don't know, moaned Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere. We never do anything. And we never meet any new states. Hmm said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. But don't you ever want more? Don't you ever want to see what else is out there? Nebraska's thought process. Yes, yes I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. Me too. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, one of those get-to-know-you deals. Everyone can bring a favorite dish. We could have music and dancing. Wow, his smile is 285 miles wide. That's a great idea, shrieked Nebraska. I wish I'd thought of it myself. So, with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those wacky little Midwestern states planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations. Hey, how do you spell Connecticut? Uh, yuck. And blew up balloons. <sighs> they even hired a band to play. What type of music do you play? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. I love accordions. At last, the big day came. And little by little, the states arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee. Iowa was in charge of coats. Dang, nice coat. Thanks. And Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Oh, I just saw yours. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. I love beats. This is the third time I've dropped my fork. Allow me. Thank you. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing and singing. Wow, those southern states can really dance. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. Excuse me, Idaho said politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places. You know, so we could see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. Then we thought maybe all of you might want to try it too. What do you think? A wave of excitement swept through the room. I feel giddy. Makes me want to dance. Woo oh, yes. yes. What, what a grand, grand idea. idea. Yeah, right. We should have done, done this years, years ago. ago. Groovy, baby. They could hardly wait. Immediately, the states made their plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. Just go south. Just go north. Can I go with you? Sure. Ouch. I'll take you out as soon as we get out. It's my pleasure to give you a ride, Washington, D.C. Are you okay in there, Mr. President? How exciting. I'll go get my things and meet you there. I can't wait. I'm out of here. It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move to their new spots. But finally, they were settled in. Hey, we're all blue. Hi, neighbor. We have sparkling white teeth. Am I too heavy? Not at all. Lovely. You're a great dancer. Thanks. 
Want to sing a song? Sure. Gum? Sure. Hello. You have minty fresh breath. So do you. I know how to dance. Really? You look good here. How pretty. Nice to meet you. Aloha, world! All of the states were much happier now that they were by their new neighbors and in a new part of the country. Um, where did Michigan go? What's going on? <coughs> oh yes, this will be a much better arrangement. <coughs> but after a couple of days had passed and all the excitement had died down, the states began to realize that they weren't as happy as they thought. <coughs> Florida, who had switched spots with Minnesota, <coughs> was freezing in the frosty northern climate. A big hug will make your sunburn feel better. And Minnesota, who forgot to buy sunscreen, got an awful sunburn. Yeah, Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom took California's place, were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. Want some cheese? Ew, get it away. I'm lactose intolerant. Well, excuse me. Oh, good. Soggy corn. Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hairdo. Hey, potato head, scratch my back, will you? Nevada and Mississippi fell in love, so nothing bothered them. Do you want to become Mrs. Mississippi? I do. Alaska who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left side. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And Michigan's thumb tickling his right. Kitchy kitchy coo. I knew this was a bad idea. And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii, because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. In the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. My guitar is soggy, and I feel so blue. It's so sad. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet, like in the good old days. Yeehaw! Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So, even faster than they made the first trip, they packed up their things and hit the road. Yes, my name is Illinois, and I need one airline ticket to, um, well, Illinois. Mm-hmm. No. The yes is silent. Taxi! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! What to <laughs> Hey, Connecticut! <laughs> Do you have any threes? Goldfish. <laughs> California, here He's I He's not a singer. Not at all. I'll never love another. You're the only state for me. Want a ride? Sure. As the sun set across the country, all of the states, from A to W, were back in their very own homes. The states were so happy to see their old friends again. They spent the entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other, the good and the bad. I bought you some corn from Iowa. It's a little soggy. I saw a Statue of Liberty. Oh, my. Let's not argue anymore. It's a deal. I had a snowball fight with Alaska. Sounds like fun. Salt water does nothing for the hair. I almost got eaten by a shark. Oh dear. Alaska told the funniest jokes. Let's hear one. Have you lost weight? A little or the metal. Sunburns hurt. Sounds dreadful. I bought you some peaches from Georgia. I saw Mexico. Cool. This is a classic. I knew you'd like it. I missed you. I missed you too. It's good to be home. Yeah. The earth moved. I won this for you in Vegas. Thanks. I brought you some cheese. Thanks. Nevada and Mississippi fell in love. That's sweet. Everyone around me was blue. Really? I can stretch out again. Aloha. No more hold downs. 
That night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made, but most of all, feeling very thankful to be home. The End